Welcome back gamers to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel. My name is Ellie and recently Don't Starve Together has received major new updates in the past months. And as the game suggests, it is better to starve and explore together with friends. So in today's tutorial, I will show you how you can get your own Don't Starve Together server in just a minute. So let's get started. First, as always, visit our website zapminesourcing.com and login into your Zap account. If you don't have an account yet, you can register here for free. Now navigate to the search bar and search for Don't Starve Together. Click on it and then click on the green start button. Here you can configure a server to your liking. You can change the server location, slots, RAM, display, CPU and IOP4 is important if you want to protect your server from incoming DDoS attacks. Finally, select the payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on your spouch and typing together minus 50. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now open your server now web interface and wait for the server files to finish downloading. After the installation is completed, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here you will need to generate and put in your server token. To do so, open the link that you will find in the video description and log in using the platform that you own a copy of the game on. Once you log in, find the add new server tab and in the cluster name box write whatever you want, then click on add a new server and the server token will now be generated. Now simply copy the token token, navigate back to your zap interface and paste it into the token box. After that, feel free to change any other settings like a server game mode, server name, server description and make sure to set a server password if you don't want any invited people to join. Once you configure everything to your liking, remember to save the settings and start your server by clicking on the green start button. Once the server is online, launch and start together on your PC. In the game, click on Browse Games and then search for your server in the search box that can be found right here at the top right corner. Now select the server, click on Join, put in the password if you have created one earlier and click on Join once again. And here you go, you have now successfully connected to your own Don't Start Together server. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.